today I'm going to show you how I made this DIY dog bone Christmas stocking. The first thing you want to do is pick out your fabric. Another thing you'll want to pick up at the store is a nice bold ribbon to put around the middle of your bone. I like this big burlap one and I wrote my dog's name on it, but if you don't really want to try writing out your dog's name, you could use something like this that's still going to be festive and cute, but you don't have to worry about your writing. Since the shape of this dog bone is pretty simple, I was able to make my own pattern using a ruler to get nice straight sides and a very small little snack hole that I used to trace the rounded edges of the bone. As you go to cut out this bone, you want to make sure that you have two layers of each fabric because we're going to be making these stockings be reversible. On both sides of fabric, place a pin about halfway up the top curve. What we're going to do is sew all the way around the bottom and stop right here so that we can attach the two sides together. So once you have everything all sewn together, this comes the kind of tricky part, but not really. We're going to attach the lining to the outside. And to do that, you want to put both of the good sides together, like so, like that. And we're going to stitch this side to this top. And on the other side, we're going to stitch these tops together. Okay? And what you want to do at the end is leave about a two-inch space so we can flip it all right side out. it all sewn together it should look something like this like a conjoined twin of a dog bone so before you iron your seams we're going to press our seams open but before we do that I want you to take a pair of scissors and go through and clip all of the curved edges now that I pressed all my edges open it is time to flip it and reverse it so if we did this correctly you should have left a little two inch opening at the top where we connected the two different colors. And what we're going to do is just flip all the fabric from the inside to the outside. And I have a little paintbrush here because you can use the back end of the paintbrush to kind of help you get the corners all the way stuck through. going to give this one final press and then finish it off. The next thing we're going to do is I took a little scrap of fabric and I just folded it like this and folded it over one more time and then we're going to fold it like this and it's going to be the little loop that our stocking can hang from and what you're going to do is just take that and you can just kind of smush it with your fingers and we are going to stick it in this opening that we left where we flipped everything right side out. Just kind of put it so that it is kind of more towards the top, but at a little angle. And we're gonna finish it off by just sewing right along that opening to close it up and finish off the stocking. To attach your ribbon, just pin it where you want it to fit on the stocking and we're gonna slide it out sew this back up and then slide it back on. And that is how you make a reversible DIY dog bone shaped Christmas stocking.